And now I've learned this concept that I like to call being a selfish giver. And I take care of myself first. I take care of my health because I realize I can't be the dad that my kids need in their life. If, if, I'm, if I'm dead, to be totally honest, if I'm dead, if I'm unhealthy um, because I, I work myself to death or because I did 100% everything for them to make sure, you know, and didn't let them be a little more independent at times because I was trying to be the better father, I actually was hurting stuff with them. And so I really had to learn that. That was a, you know, a gut check. And, and now I focused on, I call it being the selfish giver. Take care of yourself first so you can give more to others later. So you have more to give, you have more in the tank. So there's times where I've gotten this all wrong. And when I have it all wrong, my business has suffered, to be totally honest. And so it's, you know, I'm here to tell you guys over 20 years, it has been a roller coaster ride. You know, I've had the, I've had the great years. I, I've always been full time, always been able to support my family. But I've had, you know, it's sometimes it's like this, you know, sometimes it's like this, you know, Whoop, there we go. So it's kind of like this, you know, when you're running a business, I mean, that's any business, it doesn't matter how successful it is, it's, it's got its ebbs and flows. And I've noticed though, when I'm not keeping balance, meaning my, my work and my life situation, meaning like friendships, connections, family, most importantly, you know, people outside of your, of your work circle, your work will end up suffering. So if you just focus 110%, like I've had those times where I think it's better to just focus in and just get as much done in my business, you know, and get as much done as I can. And then I neglect um, my personal life, for example, or I, um, you know, I focus so much on my business or FOMO, you know, at one point I was focusing so much on my kids and my, um, my now ex-wife and, and the family situation there. Um, but I was focused so much on them and then so much on my business that my health was extremely bad. I was extremely overweight. I lost just recently over 35 pounds. Uh, I mean, over the last couple years, right? So you guys knew me when I had lost some weight and you know, I'd lost over 35 pounds. My health was horrible. Um, I was having chest pains. My blood pressure was extremely high. And it was all because I was taking care of everybody else, but not taking care of myself. And now I've learned this concept that I like to call being a selfish giver. And I take care of myself first. I take care of my health because I realized I can't be the dad that my kids need in their life. If, if, I'm, if I'm dead, to be totally honest, if I'm dead, if I'm unhealthy um, because I, I work myself to death or because I did 100% everything for them to make sure, you know, and didn't let them be a little more independent at times because I was trying to be the better father. I actually was hurting stuff with them. And so I really had to learn that. That was a, you know, gut check. And, and now I focused on, I call it being the selfish giver. Take care of yourself first so you can give more to others later. So you have more to give, you have more in the tank. So if that means you need to take time to personally read in the morning, meditate, pray, read the Bible, whatever it is you do that gives you that alone time, watch Netflix at night, whatever it is that makes your mind kind of shut off and feel better, going out with friends. I recently just joined, it's a, a like a, it's a group in Seattle. It's not really a, it's not a dating group. It's not even really, it's really just a group of just single people that like to hang out, right? And so, you know, we go out and, and every single night, if, if, you know, it's a night I don't have my kids and I was free, I could go to a restaurant. We could go meet up, um, you know, on New Year's we were on a boat and we did just, you know, different fun activities that are planned. You could go jet skiing, you could go uh, snow skiing, or you could do um, game board game night, you know, just, so it's just getting out and kind of keeping that balance of relationships, of human connections. Um, I joined a men's softball league, a slow pitch softball league recently. And, you know, that allows me to keep balance, you know, work-life balance. It gives me something to look forward to, you know, every Thursday night when we're in season. That's going to start up in April. I can't wait. Um, on Wednesday nights, I help my kids um, at their church Awana program and I, I run the games for them. And that's fun. It gives me a couple hours to, you know, play and, and hang out and burn off some energy myself. You know, so you need to keep that balance because if you don't have that balance, you're going to end up going crazy and it's going to lead, lead to your business. Um, and, and there's the balance goes like, it goes both ways. You can, you can focus too heavy on your family. Like I've been there before. You can focus too heavy on your business. You could focus on both and then neglect yourself like I did and totally screw yourself up. Or you can get back to that balance of balance and relationships. And you know, last year when I was going through a bunch of stuff, I didn't quite have that balance quite right. And obviously going through a life change with the divorce and you know everything, but I'm getting that balance back. And that's why I joined that group and I'm getting out and meeting people, doing stuff. That's why live events are so powerful too. You get out, you meet people, gives you a little more balance.